published, 9.37 EDT, the 17th of April 2018, updated, 10.41 EDT, the 17th of April 2018 The mother of two who racked up £25,000 trying to pursue a lifestyle she couldn't afford has revealed how she lived on credit from the age of 18 and eventually ended up going without food as she drowned in debt. Emma, 32, from Paisley had turned her situation around and now works as an income maximization officer to help others manage their money but at her lowest point she was suicidal over her financial worries. The mother of two told female, I wasn't eating so I could pay debts. I was selling my belongings for cash on social media and I felt depressed and anxious. Being responsible for two kids too, it was really hard. Honestly, I most likely would have killed myself if I had carried on this way. At the age of 18, Emma had access to instant credit and started to mount up debts through loans, credit cards, and catalogues to fund her social life, naive to the long term repercussions. I was a party girl trying to keep up with the Kardashians, my look kept changing to fit in with others, she recalled. Emma, 32, from Paisley racked up £25,000 of debt after she started living on credit cards at the age of 18 and found herself unable to get control of her spending as a teenager. Emma had a party lifestyle and wanted new clothes and the latest hairstyle to keep up with her friends. We live in an age where social media and appearance plays a major part in how we live our lives. The point to this is that, this was the beginning of an expensive habit. As she got older and she had more responsibilities to pay for, such as rent and then a mortgage, driving lessons car insurance and eventually having children to care for. From there came parenthood. The way I lived, credit was my only means to buy things, she said. My debt built up so much. Baby stuff, house stuff. Everything was on a card or catalogue. I couldn't buy my kids basic things as I had no expendable income. All of my earnings went to my debt. Emma admitted that she was trying to keep up with celebrities and friends by changing her hair color and maintaining an active social life. After having her children, Emma wanted them to have nice holidays and clothes, even though she couldn't afford them. Now I was juggling a social life. My appearance and the costs of having children, life wasn't about me anymore. I still wanted more for them. I wanted them to have nice clothes, shoes, holidays and days out. As a teenager, Emma naively didn't realize the long-term impact of living on credit but all of this came at a cost, usually on a credit card. Still trying to have the best of both worlds, I always made sure my kids had everything they needed. And yet I still had my nights out, particularly when my relationship broke down, I went out as much as I changed my hair color. Friends and family were what kept me going. However, her worries about how she'd ever get on top of what she owed started to impact on Emma's mental health. She was struggling so much to pay her debts she couldn't afford food for herself, and plunged into depression. After hearing about Credit Fix, the UK's largest personal insolvency practice, Emma was initially cautious of such companies, but decided to ask for help. I normally never believe that companies like this will help you. I was so wrong and I'm much better off now I have found them. They helped me by protecting my house and car but helping me write off some debt while having a manageable monthly repayment. Create a calendar for all of your payments have a schedule for when payments will leave your bank account. This should include any debt repayments as well as utility bills. I know when my money is coming in and when it is going out. This way I can budget and spend to fit the schedule without falling short by the end of the month. Have an emergency pot in place part of my budgeting means future proofing myself my family and my finances. I try to put a specific amount of money aside each month into a savings account, sometimes it is less, sometimes it is more, even if it's just five pounds. But most importantly it is something each month. This is my emergency fund. Hopefully I'll never need it, but if I do I can be sure it will be my safety net. Planning and preparation is key ultimately, this is important for all aspects of life. But in this case, I'm talking about food. You could be wasting more than £10 on food that isn't used, so make sure that you have meal plans in place. 
too much food for one night, but not enough for another? That's lunch at work sorted for the next day. You can make your food stretch with your budget if you plan properly. Always reassess and rework life can be unpredictable, so your circumstances can suddenly change. Bills can increase, but so can your salary, or your situation might not always get worse. Constant reassessment of your budget can keep your spending in check, so make sure to check your finances at least once a month. Ask for advice. Don't be afraid to seek advice and admit you might be struggling. There's loads of free and expert advice to help you out. Or, even chatting to your friends and family can help. Sometimes a problem doesn't seem as bad as you think once it's been shared. Selling my house would not benefit my creditors, nor selling my car, as rent is higher than my mortgage and I need my car for work so would have been out of a job. I can now use money more wisely and if I have an emergency repair I don't need to borrow. I try to be more sensible now and have boiler insurance, for example, so bigger costs are covered. I wouldn't have had enough to pay for any type of plan before. I have an affordable monthly payment and I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. For debt advice, visit creditfix.co.uk or call 0808 156 7728.